Well, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about a clock. And you may think or wonder, why am I talking about a clock? Well, in my opinion, the clock is ticking on food shortages. You need to act now to go out and buy what you can when you find it. We all know that time moves forward. You can't go back in time. Well, I want to go back in time when I paid 70 cents a gallon for gasoline. I won't be doing that. I want to turn off the clock and make it stop. Time doesn't stop. Well, you turn off the alarm in the morning, it stops the alarm. It doesn't stop the clock. The clock continues to move forward. The clock is ticking on food shortages right now. It keeps moving forward. So I wake up in the morning, I turn off the alarm. I bought myself some more sleep. I didn't buy myself any more time. And I think, well, I heard there's food shortages. I read the paper, I saw it on the news, and you know, they're blah, 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 blah. They're talking about whatever. Okay, 15 more minutes. So I look at the clock and it's been an hour. Okay, I better get up and start moving around and doing something. It's Saturday, yeah, sleep late. So I get in the car and I get my little reusable bags and, or not, and I go to the store and I have my budget and I based it off of the ad that I read last week. Okay, so I have a list, I have my money. Let's say I'm carrying cash. Okay, I have cash or not. You may have a debit card or credit card. Go to the store, go down the aisle. Whoa, wait a minute. All those specials that were in the ad, I can't find. The shelves are empty. So, there's no peanut butter because it was on special and I was going to get a lot of it. If there was no limit, I was going to get a lot. Well, it's not there. Okay. Well, I'll get some rice. Okay, go down and get rice. Uh, no rice. Not that size bag. The larger bags are the smaller bags and they're extremely expensive. Well, I'm not going to do that because I was going to get it for a dollar fifty a bag. Okay, well... I go down another aisle, cat food aisle. Let's say the cat food aisle. Go down the cat food aisle and I'm gonna stock up and buy five, six cases of wet cat food. Go down and I stop midway and all I can see are empty shelves because they had it on sale. Well, the sale just started yesterday. I mean, I don't understand why it's all gone. Well, it's all gone. So whatever cat food your cat eats or dog, uh, that food's gone. Okay, well, one more thing I'm gonna stop by. I've got four or five things on my list. I didn't need much. I just wanted to, you know, stock up on some things. And what they do have on the shelf, if there's a can or two cans, it's double the price and I wanted to pay because I wanted the one on sale. Okay, so, one more stop, stock, stop, and I go into the produce section. Well, they had a whole lot of produce on sale. I mean, I was gonna buy a ton of it and can it. Okay, so I go in there and I wanted strawberries and I wanted peaches and I was gonna make some apple pie filling and can it. And no. Well, the fruit that was on sale, the bins are empty. Now, there may be a rotten peach or so, there's something left, but normally it's just empty. They clean them out. So all the sale fruit is gone. Well, all right, I'll just go over here and buy a bag of these apples or whatever it is, or this apple, type of apple. And I look at it and I pull it up because I have, a, I have my phone and there's an app. And so I look at it and it's the price per apple is $1.69 not on sale. Well, that's almost $2 for one apple. How many apples do I need 
to make one quart jar of apple pie filling. <laughs> a lot. And I'm thinking, what is going on? What is happening? I'll tell you what's happening. The clock is ticking. People are understanding now there are food shortages. They will increase to not have things in the stores. So the food shortages will get worse. The minute that ad comes out, they may have been there at 6 a.m. yesterday when the ad came out and they wiped out the store. They're like, okay, there's no limit. So, all right, I'm buying it. The stores want to sell it to whoever wants to buy it. If I buy one and you buy 50, do they care? No, they've sold their product. You can ask the store, it, when are you gonna get some more on sale? They may not get any more. Rain checks, some stores don't give rain checks anymore. So, my suggestion is, the clock is ticking, don't waste time, don't wait. Food shortages are happening, so act right now and go out and get what you need or what you want. And then that way, if there's a sale, you won't miss the sale, but you'll make sure and put enough food back for you and your family and friends, depends, but you and your family. And in the winter and the fall, you'll be able to eat. You'll have food. Please don't forget that Time does not stand still. The clock is ticking. Maybe grab that ad and try to get there the first day. Because the second day, you may have been too late. If you found some of these hints helpful that I brought forward to you in this video, Give me a thumbs up, but also share with your family and friends. Because a lot of people have said, I have time, I'm good, and they procrastinate. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. I, I'll do it, don't worry about it, Just leave me alone. And so they wait. And then when they can't get what they need, they may come back and say, oh, I don't understand. I just waited till the next day. It may be too late. In the comments below, share with the viewers what you found. If you've ever been in the situation where you just missed that sale and now it's all gone and it may not come around for six weeks. Or share with the viewers that you do go out if you want those, those specials in the ad the first day and you're the first person at the store if possible. So you're looking out for yourself and for your family. I understand people work. They may not be able to be there at 6 a.m. on a work day. I, t I understand. I wish that you would fill your cart, your grocery cart, with everything you need if possible. Time is ticking. The clock doesn't stop. And it's a race against time right now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.